and hello everybody, I am Hellhouse20 of YouTube, Hellhouse Fails in Minecraft and Tumblr, and welcome back to Terraria. Now the previous, uh, ten episodes were two hours of sitting at this game playing. Since those episodes, there has been a huge update for Terraria, version 1.2 down here. So, <laughs> I've actually had to completely delete that world that we were playing on, and now I have to restart. Great! Every time I start a new series, immediately I have to restart it. Are you serious? Ugh. Anyway, there's so much new stuff to the game. Look at the background. There's new models for the zombies and monsters. There's new textures for the environment. There's even a, a few new biomes that are automatically put in. And there's even some new weapons and armor and materials. It's just so cool. Oh, it's so cool. So, let's get in. I might yawn. I actually just woke up. So, I still have Fail HH. She still got all of her items from the last recording in her inventory, though some of it might have changed because I tried to do this before. And then I have my two candies. I have my big candy, who is from my training worlds. She allows me to uh, develop strategies for fighting certain games. And then we have my little candy, who's for live streams and playing on other people's servers pretty much. Every time I play, I, I always like try and empty her inventory. I haven't even live streamed with her yet. Anyway, let's get this started, shall we? So, fail HH, and I've already created a new world up here. These two here are the training worlds. This is the old, old training world, when we were still playing in that uh, previous session. And this is all the new stuff. This allows me to understand what's going on. I've gotten pretty damn far in these two worlds. And don't forget, in Terraria, I'm going to swear. So... If you don't like me swearing, you have a chance of leaving now. So anyway, let's get started. Ooh, I haven't even opened this world yet. Let's get started. I swear to God, if my if my um guide or my so-called husband is named Cody again, I'm just gonna leave him out of the house. Oh, what was that? Oh, hi, Harley. Ooh, Harley. <laughs> I love Harleys. Motorcycles, guys. Come on. Automatically. Chop down a tree. And also, this here, this is perfect for a home. Let me just... For now, I want to build this out. We're right over a pit. This is really good. So anyway, there's been a lot of updates to Terraria. Let's go get seeds. Great. For one thing, I don't have to press jump to go over one block tall areas. I'm not even pressing anything. I'm walking. There's also some items that uh, you can't get with a uh, hammer or an axe or even a pick anymore. Um, you still gotta collect trees with axes, which is good. Oh, there's a giant pit over there, isn't there? Oh, yay. One acorn. Before you ask, yes, I have my coffee next to me. It's just a really big mug. Aw. Ooh, don't fall down there. First of all, I want to get our uh, tree house started. I know that, like, making a tree house gets old after a while, but you got, you got to understand what's going on. From what I've seen from a lot of, like, like other servers and some video playthroughs, um, as well as from experience, if you build, like, a generic square house, you are more at risk of a zombie getting in and killing your NPCs. But if you build a tree house then all of your NPCs are off the ground. They are safe. Off the ground. And if a zombie does get in, they're not going to be able to get up to you. 
And that is definitely a good thing. So let me mine up some stone. Oh, this is another thing. If you use a hammer on a block like this, see, it changes the shape of the block. And this, mixed with water, makes waterfall. Isn't that cool? Oh, so let's take these acorns back to where Harley is. Oh, God! No. Please, no. Thank you. That's just my thing. Please, no. Aw, oh, man! I forgot. Oh, see? It does that right there. Yeah, the, uh... Altered blocks also make it a lot easier to, um... What the hell? <laughs> what am I doing? Make it easier for you to, like, go up and down areas. Oh, hey, look! There's trees right here! What the hell? Boulder! Nope. Nope. Again. Seeds. Ah! I'm so used to my, uh... Test world, because I have these boots that allow me to walk on water. <laughs> anyway, um... I think the base of the... No, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna go with stone first. Nope, can't do that. This is actually a good thing. Believe it or not. Having it, like, a be three blocks wide. I hate saying it's up the shaft. Oh God, I hate. Say, I really hate saying that. One, two. Yeah, I got. I got a grab on that. We're good. Let's get up here before night comes. This isn't going to make it. Nope. Too bad. Let's go down. Yeah, there's been so much stuff added to this game, it's kind of difficult to explain it in one episode. But anyway, um, there's a new climbing method that makes this treehouse a much, all the more better idea. Let me just get these, get some acorns too. Um, if you find rope in the game, you can throw it up against a wall and it'll become a better climbing method than, uh, uh, crap, wood platforms. Because wood platforms, zombies and slimes can just jump up. Get your ass in here, Holly. Now, here's the weird thing. You gotta mine up wood with a pick. I don't know what guy came up with that idea, but it's weird. I gotta make two platforms. One there, one there, to keep people from falling. I wasn't paying attention. Usually when I say that, it means the recording's about to be- oh. Shit. Shit! <laughs> oh, we gotta finish this. You know, like, right now. But don't forget, this is a part of the game, having to go out a lot and collect materials. So don't get discouraged by that. 
Are you serious? Harley, get inside, Dumbo. Of course, he's not going to get inside. <laughs> oh my god, my mind. What the hell is wrong with me? A lot, I guess. A lot is wrong with me. Thir no, 14. Hello, trees. You grew up very fast. Oh, look at all those acorns. And more seeds. God dang it, we don't need seeds. Oh god, I just don't start. So anyway, um... You must... Ooh! No, 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 no. I don't want to fight right now. I don't care. I don't want to fight. Even though it's technically a part of the game, I don't want to fight. No. No. <laughs> Let's go. There we go. Uh, okay. Uh, let's make some torches. Sorry if I'm quiet. I'm kind of focused. <laughs> Happens a lot. Now we can make a workbench. I might need a drink. Drink of coffee. Drink of coffee. My god. I'm not an alcoholic. I don't even drink that. Alright, let's see. I knew what I was getting into, but my god. Harley, get your ass in here. It's almost night. I'm so glad I still have my spear. My poke stick. Harley, you're you're going the other way. I still think it's absolutely amazing that in the previous recordings I complained about how um, the speed boots, which is what we're wearing in the game right now, how, um, the, the running they cause is interrupted by one block tall pieces. You know, all this should be stopping me from running, but really it's boosting it. I just think that's so cool. I still thought I was going to fall. Okay, so... Door. Chair. Table. That's all you need. That's literally all you need. But I still think it's hilarious that you can put down iron toilet and they'll still move in. Oh, hello. What are you doing in my house? Wait for it. Oh, yay, it's already night. So much has changed. There's even, like, weather in this game, by the way. Come on, Harley, get in. I want to close the door. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Oh god, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, please. 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 Are you... Are you serious? Get in here. Now. Are you... Oh my god. Oh my god! See, they can't get to me. But now, Harley is stuck outside. Harley, get in here. Good 
Or did you see that zombie had his slime on his head? Are you serious? That's all I had to do. Oh my god, get in here! What? Seriously? Get in here. Now. Ugh. That didn't help at all. We keep zombies from spawning down there. So let's see about getting more wood, huh? Die, bunny. Nothing over here? Okay. Um, one of my friends actually asked me something. Like, <laughs> kind of important for me. Like, really important a couple days ago. Oh, wow, you went up. Um, how is it am I able to fight... Demon eyeballs, if I have an eyeball phobia. It's actually very, very easy. Right now, my eyes are trained on the entire screen. I'm looking at everything. And then there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, hello. I, If I see a glimpse, I know that the demon eyes fly around. So if I see a glimpse of something moving in the air, and it's a little red, because what, from what I've heard, they're, uh, they just, oh god, I can't, I can't look at them, I'm, I have an eyeball phobia, so, if I see a glimpse of what would appear to be a disembodied eyeball, uh, I, <laughs> I actually start to swing blindly. So it looks like um, kills by a person that is actually looking at their screen. I'm not really. Oops. So basically what you're seeing, any kill I have with the demon eye it's all luck. I'm not even, I'm not really looking at it. I gotta replace the wall down here. I have a lot of stone, so I might as well use it. Sorry, I'm quiet again. Crap. So let's get this stone turned into stone walls. I'll go 52. I'm actually getting used to just using the um, <laughs> grappling hook to get up and down. But it's got to change. I don't know, see, I'm not really used to using stone as a back wall. Okay, let's see, what do we got? We got rope. Oh no, I don't have enough for torches. Crap. 